Hello and welcome to this National 4 English video lesson on the writing unit of National 4 English. I'm Mr McIntosh and today I'm basically going to talk you through the different steps that you'll need to complete in order to pass National 4 English writing. So today's learning intention, we're going to learn about the National 4 writing unit and a success criterion is that you should be able to understand what you need to do in order to pass National 4 English writing. So firstly, what is involved in this unit? Well, you'll need to write either an essay or a report on a topic of your choice. And to pass, you need to make sure that whatever you write is at least 300 words long. The purpose must be clear throughout. The writing must be grammatically correct and use appropriate vocabulary. Your writing must be clearly organised and your writing must also be understood on its first reading. Now there's a few things here that we'll go, into, go through in more detail later on, but firstly I'll take you through each point and just expand on it slightly, so that in case you have any questions about these to start off with. So firstly, it must be at least 300 words in length. So that's a minimum requirement, so it must be at least 300. You might think that sounds like a lot, but believe me, once you get writing you'll be really surprised at how quickly you break through that limit. Um, you can write as much as you want, uh, however, we would hope that if it's, you're writing something really long that it's still got the same focus and purpose that a shorter essay would have as well. But yeah, 300 words in length at least. And like I say, if you pick a topic that you really like, you'll be through 300 words before you know it. Secondly, the purpose of the essay must be clear throughout. So the purpose of your writing is what it sets out to do and what it's telling us about. So the purpose of your essay or your report is why you're writing it, whether you want to persuade somebody about something or whether you want to tell somebody about something. And when we want the purpose to be clear, it basically means that we want you to choose what you're going to do at the beginning and to keep doing that throughout the whole piece of writing. So we don't want the direction of it just to suddenly change and for you to start writing about something else halfway through. We want it to be focused so that there's a clear line running right through the whole uh, piece of writing. Thirdly, the writing needs to be grammatically correct and you need to use appropriate vocabulary. So this ties into our wider literacy skills, so we're making sure that our writing is easy to understand and that it's appropriately uh, punctuated and it uses the right grammar. In terms of appropriate vocabulary, reports and essays are a little bit more formal than other types of writing. So there's certain things that we need to do in order to make sure our writing matches that level of, uh, of that style of formal writing. Fourthly, it needs to be clearly organised, so we're going to look at planning and about how we plan essays and reports in order to make sure that they make sense the way that they're laid out, uh, and we're going to write plans ourselves about what we end up writing. And this will help not only help you write, write the essay and, or report much more quickly uh, and much more fluidly, but it will also help you to order all your information and all your ideas into a logical order. Okay? And then finally, your writing must be understood on its first reading. So this basically means that when you, whoever is reading your piece of writing is reading it, they're not having to go back over something they've just read in order for it to fully make sense. They need to be able to read through it and fully understand what you're trying to say. Uh, so if you carry out these other things, that should be pretty straightforward. So if the purpose is clear, if the grammar is right, if you use appropriate vocabulary, and if it's organised properly, it will be easy to understand on its first reading. Now, National 4 is pass or fail, so if you do all of these things, you will pass. That's all you need to do, these five things, and then you will pass the writing unit. Okay, so you can write two things. You can write either an essay or a report, and they're both non-fiction pieces, so they're both based on fact. However, they work in slightly different ways. So an essay discusses an argument to which there's no set answer. So essays use opinions, and they use generally your opinions, but they'll have facts to try and convince people that your opinions are right, even though there is no final answer. So for example, we've got, I believe that electric cars have too many issues to become popular. There's no right or wrong answer to that. We can't say whether that statement is true or false. However, we can try and convince people of that by using facts to back up our own opinions. So that's what you'd do if you were writing an essay. If you were writing a report, you'd be discussing a topic to try and explain more about it. So reports use only facts. There's no opinions in reports. They use only facts. For example, this is a report on electric cars. 
It will look at their development, their success, and the companies who make them. So all of this will be able to be backed up with fact, and that's why it is a report, this little section, rather than an essay, because it uses facts only. So, you'll need to think about which one you want to write. If you think there's some arguments or some discussions that are going on right now in the world that you feel really strongly about, you'll probably want to write an essay. Or if there's something that you're really interested in, be it a book or a film or a video game or a musician, you can write a report about them and tell people more about this person or this object or thing. So it's up to you and we give you a lot of freedom in this because like I say, if you're writing about something that you like, you're more likely to do well and you're more likely to enjoy the process of writing it too. So have a think about what you'll write about. So in short, there are three things you can write. You can write an essay which argues a certain opinion. For example, I believe that chocolate should be banned. I don't actually believe that, but I could write an essay about it. Uh, or secondly, you could write an essay which weighs up both sides of an argument. For example, I think there are reasons for chocolate being banned, but there's also reasons against chocolate being banned. And I'm going to look at all these reasons and weigh them up to find out which side of the argument I fall on. You can do that as well. So if there's an argument that you're not sure really what side you fall on, you can, you can cover that, but you need to look at each side and then weigh them up at the end. Then finally, you could write a report, and this needs to educate the reader on a certain topic. For example, I am doing a report on chocolate. I will look at the history of chocolate, how it was first uh, created or where it comes from, uh, certain companies which make chocolate bars, and uh, the people who generally enjoy chocolate. So you're talking about facts to do with it there. So have a think about what you want your writing to do. I want that to be what you take away from this lesson, and I want you to go away now and have a think about what you would like to write about. Remember, there's a lot of freedom in this, uh, so you can really write about anything as long as you run it by us first. But try and pick something that you're interested in. What we'll do in future lessons is we're going to have a look at some example topics. So if you're struggling to think of something, don't worry. We've got a lot of example topics that should help to set your, set your mind going and help you think about something that you might want to write about. So don't worry if you can't think of anything straight away. So let's look back at our learning intentions and success criteria for this lesson. So we wanted to learn more about the National 4 Writing Unit and we knew that we would have learnt more about it once we understood what we need to do. So if you understand what you need to do now, if you know what you now need to write or roughly what you're, what's expected of you, then congratulations, you've successfully got through this lesson and you now know how to pass National 4 Writing in English. So this is going to be the first lesson of quite a few. Uh, this is a new format, so this is something that uh, is new for me as well. And hopefully we're going to be able to do this whole unit and create it into some condensed video lessons. So from this point onwards, we're going to be looking at various different things and various different steps in creating a piece of writing, uh, whether it's planning or researching or structuring or actually writing as well. So be sure to come back and look at the next one uh, where we'll actually be looking at how to pick a topic for your essay.